Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 522. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is the big W teams up with My Little Pony in Australia to bring an OC in to tell your tale. Alright. Do you live in Australia? Well, not me. Are you 30 and under? Well, certainly not me. Uh, do you want to see your OC pony on Tell Your Tale? Well, I do, but I don't fit the two criteria above. We have good news for you. Uh, sorry, we have good news. A collaboration with the big the with uh, sorry, a collaboration between Big W and Hasbro has a chance to get your pony in the show. All you need is to sorry, all you need to do is buy a My Little Pony toy at BW between September first and fifteen, which is already passed. Then submit the receipt along with your design over on the website. The three winners will uh, uh, there will be three winners total with the grand prize claiming a 250 prize pack, a print of your pony, and he or she appearing in the official YouTube channel during the Tell Your Tale episode that airs in second half of 2024. Uh, the two runner-ups will have their ponies re-made in uh, Tell Your Tale style, receive physical prints, and a price pack equaling to $100. So, uh, it's passed. Um, I know this came out September 1st, and I'm really way off on this one, but this is one of the cool promos where it gets the <coughs> um, uh, audience participation where uh, if you fit the criteria, uh, if it's in Australia and under 13, you can do a lot of cool things. I mean, when you're 13 and you're a fan, you, you're sure to have some designs, right? So that's something cool for the Australian fans to get. I, I do wonder um how they're going to uh do it pick the winners and whatnot so uh, i guess it's by committee probably and the only entry fee is just to buy some pony products at the big w and just submit your design uh let's see uh, okay uh, i'm just checking here all you need to do is buy a My Little Pony toy at Big W. So basically, you can just buy a blind bag and it works. And blind bags are not that expensive, if I remember right. And we we got no idea if this if the criteria is for you to. Uh, the the higher you spend, the more chances you get. They didn't say that. I think. Uh, let's see. The Big W is in is called. Why do I say the big? Big W is collaborating with the producers of My Little Pony to win the ultimate prize, the chance to see your very own pony character come to life in My Little Pony, tell your tale. So they didn't really say much unless I go to the website and read more, but eh, I'm, I'm just going to assume a lot of stuff. So assuming that you just buy something, send it away, hoping for the best, and it it's kind of cool. Um, there's no talking role or anything, but it's just really fun. Price pack for the first place is two hundred fifty dollars worth of prize. So that's cool. Um, you probably you'll get more pony toys, more um pony toys, uh, more what you call this, uh, uh product from ponies, regular pony stuff. Yeah, so that's something cool. So yeah, it, it's passed, so I can't really say much. But still, this is something really cool. Anyway, let's move on to second news. Second news is Prabal Gurung, Gurung, Rung Rung, uh, Prabal Gurung, cross Hasbro partner for My Little Pony inspired 
looks at his New York Fashion Week show. Um, I wish I could have heard of New York. Uh, the artist, the... Oh, this is the illustrious cues, uh, wants and needs. Okay. Anyway, uh, yes. Our friends over at Hasbro has sent us a little press release about their partnership with Prabal Gurung for New York's Fashion Week, the iconic toy manufacturer and fashion designer created three signature looks for the My Little Pony franchise. The looks are inspired by Rarity, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash. All and these clothes are perfect because Rarity is a fashion designer, Fluttershy is the ultimate fashion model, and Rainbow Dash is <laughs> and Rainbow Dash always dresses in style. And uh, now, why I see myself out? Okay, uh, <coughs> press release uh, to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the iconic Marvel Pony brand, Hasbro and Prabal. Gurung have partnered to bring new fashion to the pony legacy. The past, this past week, Prabal debuted three new Malabar Pony inspired runway looks at his SS24 New York Fashion Week outdoor show at the Franklin D. Roosevelt Fort uh, for Freedom State Park. Wow, that's a mouthful for me. And a design Prabal embodied the My Little Pony values of inclusion and self-expression that have inspired generations through My Little Pony inspired runway looks at... Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is Rarity. Let's... No zooming in. Okay, so that's Rarity. So rarity, rarity point, uh, rarity pony inspired look. The top long trains is reflective of the beautiful and soft nature of rarity's ponytail. Yes, dripping and flowing naturally as the model walks to mimic rarity's hair. Okay, and as Asymmetric neckline on top draws inspiration from the shape of the horses. <clears throat> okay. Do I comment now or comment later? You know, I'm going to do it now. Okay, yeah. All of those things are really cool and I get you. You want to do the whole, oh, look at the mean and look at how she looks and oh the hairstyle oh but not getting more of the design or whatever it is from what i can tell you missed the shot by a mile granted you did get the bottom part right with white because rarity's coat is white but you didn't get the mane at all the mane is supposed to be purple or at least some kind of violet and there's no curl in the uh, clove. Even her mane and tail are curled. So I have to say that this mixed, uh, this misses the mark because uh, they say draping and flowing naturally as the model walks to mimic Rarity's hair. I don't know which Rarity you're talking about, but designate her. But yeah, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll say this is a 2. Misses the mark. Looks good though. Okay, next up is Fluttershy Pony Inspired Look. A signature pattern for the collective of overlaying beaded layers. Hem is inspired by the outline of Fluttershy's wings. Beads flow and more. And move down the runway like they have the ponies, jeans underneath with similar colors to... Oh, God. I'm not even going to comment on it again because you, you... A for the pink color with the hair, yay. But 
whatever you're talking about here doesn't really fit with what Fluttershy. Yeah, um, scale of 1 to 10, a 2, missing the mark. Last one. Rainbow. Oh, oh this is just too. Not, not even going to try. <gasps> Rainbow Dash pony inspired look. Inspired by the rainbow of colors. Icon, iconic to the Rainbow Dash pony. Feather details dawn inspired from the pony's mane. I'll be honest with you guys, this one, I'll give it a one. I know this is interpretation of how the designer sees things and how he interprets the design and whatnot and just tries to convey to the general audience but how do I put this when when you're <coughs> when you're taking inspiration from something yeah when, when you're taking inspiration from something um you should probably get or probably um use at least 40% of the inspired or the source because right now because how do I put this uh, the, the China thing uh, re remember the um, museum that they had in China where uh, designers did stuff and whatnot and we, we didn't get to see the whole thing but from what we saw they kind of cheated by getting uh, cloth with only prints on it but still <clears throat> that's at least okay if i were to rate it um just by memory i'll give it a four um the only thing related to pony is the fabric okay that's about it but with this one they say that they were inspired by the look they try to emulate the design or whatsoever but in the end you just did your own thing while the pony thing is just a um afterthought because <sighs> looking at the rarity one here i don't see anything rare i don't see anything rarity about it <sighs> like i i don't want to bash on someone's creative outlook or design or anything like that but it's just that when you say that this is inspired by the show or the character at least i want to see something from it carried over because if you were to say okay um okay you do the sash you you do the diamonds or whatever her cutie mark and, and you have a lot of diamond things on the dress i i can say that oh that's cool that's cool i mean um the, mr mark on the color but still that's cool but with this one I, I just see blue and okay, probably you can say this dash is a representative of her beauty mark. But when you read the description, it says the top long trans uh, tra trains trans is re reflective of the beautiful and soft nature of Rarity's ponytail. If you take a look at Rarity's ponytail, it's violet, purple. And and you see where I'm coming from. It misses the mark when it comes to what they're trying to take inspiration from. And uh, it says draping from model walks mimic Rarity's hair. Main is, okay, if you want to say a tail end, main are considered hairs. Okay, I'll give you that, but still purple, not blue. And it misses the mark. So, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, to be honest, <clears throat> when it comes to fashion and whatnot, I ain't no pro. I wear t shirt and jeans most of the time because I find it comfortable and I wear flip flops. 
So yeah, that that's me in a nutshell. And to be honest, when I look at certain fashions, especially the weird ones, when you see like it's high concept, high um was was uh, very conceptual, very um modernist, it's more of a fashion statement or more of a uh, proof of concept of what could be done and what people of the future think and what the artist wants to do. For for this one, I, I just feel like it, it missed the mark when you're technically... Uh, I'll just say it missed the mark because you took inspiration from something, but you clearly just took the name and nothing beyond that. Because let's just say that, hey, um, create a design inspired by Wally. So, what 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 do you take out of it? If you say, okay, um, I'll take the primary colors, which is yellow. Secondary colors would be the darker tones, the the steel and whatnot. Yeah, I'll accept that. And if you put trash on it, there's a deep cut because Wally is a trash compactor robot. So yeah, I, I guess you can see that. But for Rarity here, nah, man, nah. Last news. This, this, this is close to my heart. <clears throat> Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash gets official my Magic the Gathering cards in the new. Uh, Ponies the Galloping 2. Oh, well, this is Steph. All right. Magic the Gathering players rejoice. We finally have a complete set of main six cards joining the Nightmare Moon, Twilight Sparkle, and Rarity released back in 2019. The rest of the main six arrive. Sorry, the rest of the main six have arrived according to Polygon. Uh, according to the Polygon review article, they should be available to order to today as part of the Secret Lair drop. I've tossed the image of each of the image of each down below. Uh, I know I'll be making commander decks for each of them, just like Twilight Rarity and Luna. Update! The site is back up now. You can get the foil for the foil set for fifty dollars and the regular set for forty dollars. Go uh, proceeds go towards the children's uh, charity Extra Life. Get them over here. Update number two. There is an interview with the mind behind it, as well as a new merchandise line with other Magic the Gathering character names. A journey who rocking a chibi cartoon look both also below all right then <sighs> but no idea in this box right here is my set of ponies the galloping the first one um same thing, it was a um, charity thing for Extra Life, and I bought it, I ordered it and bought it, and I just love this. This was back before Secret Lair was a thing, and getting stuff like this was considered to be really awesome nowadays with all the secret layers that is coming out it loses its luster but i do appreciate what the uh, wizard of the coast attempting to finish this set but since it's the next uh, secret layer set that that's something else but anywho <clears throat> let's let's break down what are the cards we're getting because obviously it's the rest of the force to complete the main six but 
extra life. Um, extra life is a charity event. Um, promoting the uh, children's hospital, depending on which one you're picking. Because I remember way back when, uh, for extra life, they're representing for sorry, um Hasbro. They're representing Seattle Children's Hospital. I I forgot which one they're doing this now, but that's besides the point. Whatever it is, most of the proceeds will go towards uh extra life will and they will um give that money to you know the, the children's hospital. So uh let's break down the cards. <clears throat> so Applejack. Just Applejack, nothing more. Wait. Ah, yes. Except for Princess Royal Sparkle. All right. Cool. So they just use the basic names, nothing more. So Applejack is two generic, one green and one white. It's a legendary creature, pony, for a 4 4. And she has family gathering. At the beginning of your end step, which is near the. Uh, when, when you when you finish your turn, uh, put a toy you own on the battlefield as a 2 2 creature token with that toy's name, color, and creature type. If the toy has wings, the token has flying. If the toy has a horn, scry too, meaning you look at the top two cards of your deck slash library. Uh, if it has neither, create a food token. Um, a food token is a token card that you can dribble down on a piece of paper, whatever it is. And what it does is you can pay two generic mana to gain three life. I'm sorry, uh, pay two generic mana, sacrifice the food token, and gain three life. Yes. So, um, hearing the interview that Gavin very he, Gavin, yeah, Gavin very he did with the lead designer for this one, uh, he mentioned that when building the, when designing the card, uh, they had a lot of fun with um, the part where uh, putting toys on. Because when playing with it, uh, they, 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 they originally stated like they wanted to try to do with um, pony toys, with what Rarity does. Um, let's see. Uh, Rarity has this ability where you know what? Let me see if I can find Steph's article from way back when. Uh, Rarity. I hope this doesn't. Ah. Okay. Okay. So right. Cool. <clears throat> so Rarity, she has. Ah, uh, Rarity. Is a white and sorry, a generic mana and white blue legendary creature unicorn uh, for 2 2. Uh, 2 power, 2 toughness. And her ability states rare and mythic, mythic rare spells you cast cost one less to cast. Uh, pay one generic, tap this card, and reveal a metal pony toy you own until. End of your turn, and blah, blah 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 blah. So, what's going on here is, uh, when when they originally did rarity, so you, you gotta have a pony toy to kind of have pro Uber. Uber is white, blue, black, red, and green. So pro protection. I'm just gonna simplify it. You can look for the rules later on. So. That's Rarity's gimmick, but you have to have a pony toy on standby. And not many people have pony toys. And at the same time, too, why wouldn't you? Because you're kind of playing a Rarity deck. So obviously you have a pony toy, but let's just say you don't. Let's just say you don't. So what Applejack here is doing is subverting that um, you need to have a pony toy thing and instead just use a toy at random. So basically, I can use Wally as my token. So um, it says uh, two two creature token with the toys names, colors, and creature type. So uh, if Wally here, uh, I'll say he is a two two creature token 
named Wally and has um you know let's go for white it's a white robot yep so he, when he comes in uh, Applejack gives a food token if I were to put in a Gundam a a, a big giant robot Gundam he'll have wings let's say just Gundam wings so uh, Gundam wing is a flying tutu token who is white and blue and red <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh boy so yeah um i'll say that having having all those stuff like that sounds just so cool and you just imagine if you have a or uh, a table with four apple jacks playing you you can have the insane play where your board state or your table is just going to be full of toys just like oh i i have my warhammer army going on here <laughs> uh, <coughs> <coughs> And Applejack here is just one of those fun builds to have because it's just really fun. Let's move on to Fluttershy. Fluttershy is a gener one generic mana with green and white. She is a legendary creature Pegasus with power of 0 and 4 toughness. And her ability raids, she has Defender and Flying. And Pay one generic, tap this card, and put a plus one plus one counter on each creature with a tail. Target player control. Stare down up to one target creature. Uh, stare down up to one target creature until the end of turn. It can't attack or block as long as you're looking directly at. It. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, that's fun. That's stupid fun. Oh boy. All right. So what this does is, um, defender is this creature can't attack. She can only block. Flying is, um, this creature can attack. We cannot be blocked by creatures without flying or reach. So that's one thing. But her ability, um, to pay one and put one. Plus one, plus one counters on each creature with a tail target player controls is really awesome. So what? Okay, you're probably wondering, but what does that mean? What do you mean by tails? That's a bit vague. And usually in this kind of scenario, this is. I'll just remind you all. Every card with a silver border no matter what generation it is, is a joke card, meaning that it cannot be used in sanctioned events. Even though if it's a real card, the card cannot be used in an official capacity. So what Hasbro does is create some fun ideas, fun joke stuff, just so that they can have fun. So in this case, having a silver border card kind of lets you do insane stuff. But uh, back on to uh, creature, each creature, sorry, creature with a tail target play control. So creature with a tail means if the creature card that you have in its art has a tail, let's just say uh, you have a rat token or have a rat deck. It has a tail, it gets a plus one plus one counter. Let's just say you have a horse, a crocodile, um, even uh, let's just say a goat. It has a tail, logically, a rabbit. It will get the plus one plus one counter on it. So this is a pretty interesting build if you were to go uh, tail tribal or tail typo. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one is. <clears throat> Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie is a red, red, white legendary creature pony with two power and two toughness. And her ability reads: Whenever you cast a spell with a smile, 
in its art create a tap treasure token. Every pony is every pony is invited. Your party consists of each creature you control, and your party is always full. So let's break down the first one. So whenever you cast a spell with a smile in its art, so that means whatever card you have in your library or hand or whatever it is, whenever you cast it, uh, you'll get a tap treasure token only if the art consists of a smile. And that could mean anything. Uh, there's memes and jokes about cards that, hey, this monster who is Gary is smiling. So, yeah, I'll get a treasure token. So, the idea of building a smile typo deck is very interesting, to, to say the least, because what can you get and what will you get? That's just insane. I got no idea. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to look through my cards that I have right now. And see if I have any cards that I would say that the art is smiling. Okay, got one. Um, this is shock, and this is bad because I forgot to zoom. Oh god. Let, let, let me try and do this. Nope, not gonna work. Not gonna work, but I'll, I'll just say the card name. The card name is Shock. And the art on it is a person smiling. So you'll get a treasure token. Um, Burn Bright. This is another card. Uh, it has a face of a person grinning. Grinning is a smile, right? <laughs> so yeah, um, no matter how you interpret it, it is really cool. Like the, the smile thing, yeah. So, this is a fun build, by the way. Like, for deck builders who are into magic, who like to build decks, just trying to find cards that are smiling is a challenge because we normally don't think of it. We only think of the card. Uh, sorry, we only think of the game and how. To optimize the deck to guarantee a win, but not many builders consider art or a certain theme to put into a deck. So having a smile team deck is pretty fun. Okay, moving on to the last part is Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash is one generic, one red, and one white. Uh, is a legendary creature, Pegasus, has two power, two toughness, and has flying haste. And whenever a creature you control with flying or haste attack, you get 20% cooler. You start at 0% coolness. Sonic Rain Boom. Tap. If, you, if you're at least 100% cool, add white, blue, black, red, Green, will burst for short, draw a card, and reset your coolness. <coughs> so, this card here, when, when you take a look see at what she does, what, what her gimmick is, she is a flying haste typo with the focus on uh, just making her into a pretty awesome minor rock. Uh, a mana rock or mana dork is a card where it produces mana because usually in Magic the Gathering, the way you can produce mana is by tapping your land. Other ways to do it is from mana rocks. Um, mana rocks are artifact cards that produce mana. And the last one that I can remember is mana dork. Those are mana abilities on a creature. and Rainbow Dash here is a mana door. So yeah, um, her thing is not bad because uh, the clause here says 
whenever a creature you control with flying or haste attack. So that means if you were to have four other creatures with rainbow dash attacking, or maybe five creatures with flying or haste and or haste attacks, you'll get uh 20% coolness for each attacking creature. So if you attack with five, that means you get um 100 coolness in one shot meaning you can tap rainbow dash to generate five um manas of each color and draw a card so that is kind of stupid strong and yeah uh, this uh, sorry um uh, in commander one of the few things that um you can uh, one one of the few things that the rule states is that uh whenever you have a creature with a mana symbol um the mana symbol is the thing here though those are called mana symbols um so uh, whenever you have a card with a mana symbol represented on card it considers to be that color even though if the cost for paying it doesn't have it in the mana cost so Rainbow Dasher would be considered as a five color creature in Commander. But to be specific, it only uh, it's only sorry. In Commander, Rainbow Dash is a five color commander, but her creature type or creature color is only white and red. Mm. Uh, commander is a bit confusing because it added as it's sorry, it adds new rules because it wasn't really an official game until Hasbro said yes to it. So anyway, um, yeah, Rainbow Dash is fun. I, you know, I would love to build a haste flying tribal deck. Um, yeah, with five colors, that's that's gonna be fun. Uh, probably haste will be red. Uh, flying would be white and blue. The rest would have to do something. I I don't know. I I know black has, um, a bit of flyers, and green. You know what? Green will just generate mana. So yeah. Um, I I really love this. I I really love this. Oh, here is the interview that Garin Behay, uh, producer. He's a big shot in, <clears throat> um, Wizard of the Coast. So. This is the merchandise that they're doing, and it's pretty cool. They're not showing everything. Let, let's go to the website. I'm I'm committed. I'm committed. So you get the Extra Life Charity 2023 Magic the Gathering, a Johnny and Little Pony Tees. Uh, my Little Pony Tees. So this one shows. Um, are you going to show? Do I have to click more? Uh, what's the point? Okay, you know what? Yeah, there we go. So, this is the T. And here's the larger design. So, it, 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 it shows... I, I don't know why they chose Ajani. But, I guess he's cute. So, Ajani is cute. So, anyway, this is for the 2023 Extra Life uh, promo that they're having. Uh, the design looks cool. It's a T. Uh, I I guess you can pick between men and women, color like blue, size you can up to four XL. That's cool. So anyway, um, thirteen dollars and seventy five cents will be donated from the sale of this item toward extra life. So that means, um, Hasbro here will. Um, boy, get twenty five bucks minus thirteen point seven five. So Hasbro is only taking about eleven dollars and twenty five cents in profit, or whatever. So I mean, they need to maintain. They need to pay their workers. They need to pay the bills. So I mean, I I guess I guess, but. Still, 13 plus to charity, if you're up to it, do so. 
personally for me, I'm considering. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, let's see what they have. So this, these are stickers. Not bad looking, by the way. Uh, these are bomber jackets. And a play mat. And some pins. Yay! These are cute. I, I do wish that we have ponies on it. But still, uh, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, those are pretty cool. 80 bucks to... Mmm, it looks so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, half, almost half of it goes to Extra Life. That's cool. <clears throat> we have D&D too. Um, not gonna focus on that. <laughs> so, yes. And this is the playmat that you'll be getting. Thank you for your... Thank you for supporting Extra Life. And... Oh man, this this oh, I I would so want this. This is so cool. Printed the US, blah blah blah, don't care, this is cool. Uh, you know what? Probably, probably. I, I'll I'll consider it. The Children's Miracle Network Hospital Extra Life, cool. So yeah, um if you are in the state and want to get some awesome play mats, this is one way to do it. I, I'll consider this because this is one of those things that I kind of like and want. I do wonder when you'll get it. Do they say additional information? No. Nope. Nothing of the sort. So I guess we'll have to wait and find out. So that's the oh no. So that's the news for this week. Oh no, I'm blurry because I messed around with the camera. Give me a second, boys. I guess that's passable. So anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing with my month? Because that's a thing. So, besides the normal Magic the Gathering D&D stuff that I do every week, um, I think I went on a short vacation or retreat, as I say, um, with a friend because I'm somehow a chauffeur now. So, what we went to the state of Malacca in Malaysia, up north a bit from where I'm at, and we just hang out. We we, we see the sightseeing, we um, look at the historical things and whatnot, we ate good food, and kind of enjoyed ourselves. Uh, it was pretty fun and amazing going down there, and I don't have it with me right now. <coughs> I see. <clears throat> One of the few things that I did down there was I went to this place where we get to um where we get to um, create our own cup noodle or decorate our own cup noodles. So this is what I oh no it's too blurry and it's all blown out. Oh no, it doesn't work that way, you idiot. So, but yes, um, I, I just basically um, sit there for almost an, half an hour to an hour coloring the cup noodle cups and just decorating it, doing what I want with my artistic talent that I doubt that I have and just had fun. And went to the, uh, after doing that, we went to the back where we um, put noodles inside. Let me reframe it. We put dried instant noodle inside and pick our condiments and flavors and whatnot. And the person they're working sealed it and put a plastic wrap on around it. And it was just one of those cool experiences that I felt like, yeah, this is one of those things where I would like 
to experience because you, you don't really get to experience that. And I wish I was more artistic because I could have created ponies in the background or stuff, you know. Uh, but my drawing hand is only up to Adobe Illustrator. And I'm struggling with whatever tools I'm using now. So yes, I am struggling. I'm an artist then. <laughs> but yes, um, after doing that, we just um, had fun and just went around. So yay, awesome me. Um, then there's nothing much. Uh, do, doing the... Same old thing, working and whatnot. So, yeah, um, it's uh, it, it it's it's yeah. I mean, how how to put it? It's been a while. And if you're wondering how am I, how how am I feeling after a few months since the incident, I'll say that I'm I'm okay. I I, I won't say I'm struggling. Um. I'm just neutral. Let's just say I'm neutral and coping and adapting, I think. Yes, those are the words I'm, I think I'm looking for. But yes, um, that, that aside, um, I, I'm okay. I'm stable. So let's wrap it up because surprisingly, it's pretty long for a three news topic show. <clears throat> so if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on X. Uh, the show's X account is at the MBS show, and my personal account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also like the Facebook page if you want to. Nobody's forcing you. And I'm even thinking, why, why, why even promote this anymore? Ah, boys. So anyway, um, links are in the show notes. I know I need to update a few things because a lot of the links that I mentioned are not there anymore. Whew. And surprisingly, if you think about it, right, the shows has been going on since what? Twenty. 13, 24, I think. Uh, let's see. Now it's... Uh, 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 uh. Huh. It's been going on for 11 years now, I think. If it's, if we're doing it on 2012. Yes. Maybe, I don't remember. Maybe longer. But yes, we've been, all, we've, we've been doing this podcast for a decade now. And um, most of the things there on the link have outlasted. We, we have outlasted them somehow by some miracle, even though the show is not as um, consistent as before. But yes, if you would like to support this show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lasky Knight, and Mess of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And thank you for all the support. Even with all the downtime that I have or had. And yeah, just, 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 how would I put this? Just. Mm, what's the, I'm, I'm looking for a word just um, bearing with my idiocity thank you so much guys so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show see ya 3 2 1